Um, I apologize to you both. Um, you're just going to have to uh, deal okay. again with, with my terrible <laughs> jokes for, for everybody else. I'm um, just a lot more entertaining the first time through. Um, so for, so most of you are in, in, in pretty good luck. Um, a little bit about uh, Saltbox and what we do here. Um, our farm was started in the 1940s by our owner Ben's grandparents. They bought the land from the Middlesex School, which is right across the street from us. Uh, and it has been in their family since then, and they have uh, grown vegetables and raised animals, they raised a family along the way as well. Um, and uh, today we have 10 acres total, two and a half of those are dedicated to growing vegetables and we grow a range from uh, onions, on, excuse me, onions and garlic and potatoes to leafy greens and lettuces um, to summer crops, tomatoes, eggplants, peppers, uh, melons, that sort of thing. Um, we grow uh, fall vegetables, root vegetables, and autumn squash. Um, we have conquered grapes for obvious reasons. Um, that's another one of my jokes. <laughs> yeah. um, there we go, because it's conquered. Um, <laughs> we grow hops that feed our brewery, which is nearby in Saltbox Kitchen. And um, we also have a small fruit orchard in the back where we uh, have some pear and peach and apple trees. So we've got a pretty busy field back there. Um, we also raise animals here. We uh, keep about 15 sheep from the spring until the fall. Um, we raise chickens for eggs, and then we also uh, keep bees for honey. Um, so all of that food heads over to our CSA. We do pickups on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays during the growing season. And then um, we send the rest of it over to uh, our restaurant, Saltbox Kitchen, over in West Concord. Um, so in addition to, uh, to attending to the land a bit, uh, Ben's grandparents curated the property too. So um, if you come by here during the daytime, you'll see um, uh, some large bells out here in the field. Um, they, 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 he liked bells. I don't know, I don't know what to say. Um, you don't know where they came? Our chance to get you all in here from the area and talk about what we like to do best, which is uh, basically eat, right? Um, and then how we get there. So we got a cook it first. They built in the 1940s. And then uh, this house here, the little house, um, he built in the 1960s uh, to replicate a cottage from the late 1700s. Um, this house is also unique because uh, he, they didn't use any uh, machine tools to help them. They built this all by hand, um, and much of the wood was reclaimed from uh, from other buildings that were around at the time. Um, and the original cottage is the dining room uh, where we'll go sit and eat later, um, and all of that dates from the late 1700s. So that's a little snapshot of our farm here. Uh, Saltbox Kitchen is our restaurant. I'll only say it a few more times just until you yeah, right. are really <laughs> craving it later. Um, uh, and we do cafe and dinner service there six days a week. Um, we uh, do a lot of catering in the area, kind of everything from um, birthdays and anniversaries to uh, corporate events and everything through two and three hundred person weddings. So that keeps us busy for a lot of the year. Um, it's also the home of our brewery. Uh, we're the smallest brewery around in Massachusetts. That's not someone's garage, um, so we've got that going for us. We usually have uh, four beers on tap, and the two mainstays are um, our Saltbox Prophecy, which we have here tonight. That's our farmhouse ale. Um, and our Tots Bracket is our IPA, which we keep on most of the time, and uh, that's our IPA. Um, and the, the other beer we have tonight is called Jeans Highland Chief, uh, which is our, uh, our maple stout right now. Um, and those beers along with many of the others that we uh, that we brew they're named after the um, the horses that the family used to stable here